This conference will now be recorded. Hey guys, this is Naveen here. Welcome back to Naveen Automation Labs. So, uh, this is the fourth video on AWS, uh, AWS series and uh, what we can, exactly we are going to talk about. Uh, I'm going to uh, create one instance that is again EC2 Linux instance and uh, on, okay, on my AWS console and then we will uh, uh, install, I mean, Docker is already there. We will upgrade to JDK 1.8. Then we will, uh, uh, through the Docker composers, uh, we will uh, create three containers or three or four containers for Chrome, Firefox, and Opera. And then we will make some changes in our code. So I'll show you, we have to use remote web driver and then we have to use the remote web URL and we will set up the grid hub, uh, grid hub and node over there. And then uh, we will execute our test cases on containers on which is available on AWS instance. So that is very important. Now, after this, uh, you will get to know that, okay, how exactly we are doing it. So uh, overall uh, thing I'll tell you that, let me just uh, do one thing. Let me see what exactly the thing that you have to explain at a time of interview. So this thing I told you earlier in my first session, today I'm not going to use any Jenkins. So today what exactly we are going to do that, let me, open this so i simple uh this is my eclipse where we, we we will write our code a simple test case we will write and uh, we will maintain one uh, test in .xml file and we will create one test class over there and having two test method test number one and test number two like this and this is my aws uh, console where my aws instance which is uh, as i told you on a linux machine okay and on this particular Linux machine that uh, we will have uh, Docker. We will have JDK 1.8 and then we will create the containers. Okay, for uh, hub. I mean for Selenium grid, we will create one container for Selenium grid hub and then we will create one container for Chrome and uh, Firefox and Opera if you really want. Okay, and then we will scale up. We can increase the containers uh, Chrome, Firefox, Opera and everything. So that will be the thing that okay we will be doing on this particular uh, instance, and this will be your EC2 okay compute instance on AWS cloud. So this is uh, okay, it's available on your cloud. So that is your AWS cloud. Okay, guys, perfect. So okay, let me design like this. Now, what exactly we will do? That uh, we will be using the concept of a remote web driver along with the along with the URL we will be passing and the desired capability that, okay, on which browser you want to execute. So we will be doing those uh, those things as well. And uh, uh, we will be creating one testng.xml file. So in this particular testng.xml file, I'll be writing two test blocks. Uh, one test block for, I'll be uh, running for uh, Chrome. And second test, uh, second test I'll be writing for uh, Firefox. Okay, like this. Let's see Firefox, like this. So we will be doing this and either you run it from Eclipse or you can run it from the command line. So we will be using Maven test. Okay, we will be doing that or Maven clean install also you can do that from the command line. And in the remote web driver, there's a URL value that you will be passing. Okay, whatever the EC2 instance that we are going to cover, right? That particular Linux machine that we are going to take, we will be passing some, okay, something like this 10 dot, 11 dot, 12 dot, okay, 13 and which will be running on 44, 44, uh, port number so we will be giving this particular url in my remote web driver so what will happen and uh, we will configure at the ec2 side we will define one security uh, group so one sg we will be creating along with this particular instance and that sg will be associated with the ec2 linux uh, instance and uh, that is the security group that we will be creating we will define some inbound uh, rules that what are different ip address we can take it so we will say that okay 0.0.0, .0 that I have already told you, like it's open to all. And the port number we will open for 4444 44 because Selenium Grid by default runs on 4444. 44. Okay, so that is the security group inbound. Okay, uh, thing that will be associated with this particular EC2 instance. And then we will trigger our test cases from our local, and uh, the magic will happen automatically on this particular machine. Okay, we cannot see the browser instance which are running, but we will see on the console. And uh, this is on my local machine, this is my browser. We will open this particular URL, whatever the URL 
okay this thing whatever the uh, hub url which is running on 10.11.12.13 colon 4444 we will be writing we will open our grid console so that we can monitor that okay which how many okay uh, how many browsers are there and how many firefox are there chrome is there in that case we can see that just like a typical grid installation we will see that okay i mean grid uh, uh, console thing we will see that over here you can check it on your local on your browser so that will be my browser where we will see our okay uh, grid so that is my grid uh, web like that perfect so that will be the configuration we will see that <coughs> okay so this is the aws and this is your local so this is your local fine so if you really want to explain because at the time of interview you cannot explain uh, aws right if you don't have aws at the time of interview so you can explain this particular thing that okay these are the configuration i'll be using it perfect so i think we all are ready so let's uh, try to do that so what i'm going to do that uh, first i'll be going to my aws console so i'm going to log in first so we have to create one instance first so let's create one instance uh, so i'm going to sign in and i just need to click on next with the root user sorry let's log in into this and uh, when we log in i'll simply go to ec2 or you can directly go to services and go to compute ec2 and uh, click on launch instance we have to create one instance over here when you click on this launch instance and uh, you go to commu uh, community amis <clears throat> so we need uh, one machine i would prefer linux machine where the docker is already available right so i'll simply say that okay docker compose and i'm assuming that okay you guys are already aware of uh, docker composers because i'm not going to explain docker composers end to end guys that is a different topic altogether so let's search for that and i see that okay there are number of uh, amis are available so i'll take this particular image where i can see docker docker compose a uh, docker gc jq is also available and this is an amazon linux machine so i'll uh, pick this and if you really want to take this free tier eligible but you see only one cpu and one uh, ram 1 gb ram is there which is very less for containers so i'll do one thing let me take uh, some t2 medium machine we can take this and you have to pay for it it's very minimal cost guys hardly one rupee and two rupees okay you have to pay so you can for practice point of view you can simply do that okay and i'll show you my billing also okay because from last couple of days i'm using this and it's very minimal only 10 15 uh inr they just detected that's it so select this particular t2 medium machine and uh, i'll just go to configure instance details so yeah we will be using the same vpc any subnet we do it doesn't matter and uh perfect let it be like this click on add storage storage if you really want to increase the storage like you can do that but i don't want to do so let it be like this add tags i don't want to add any tag security group yeah so now ssh first we have to do the ssh through the tcp protocol and uh, from anywhere so, so let's select anywhere and then we will add uh, one more rule that is custom tcp and we say that okay the port range should be 4444 because uh, i have to trigger from where i have to trigger from my uh, local which should be accessible on 4444 my selenium grid is running on 4444 from anywhere and uh, if you really want to give any description you can give it so let's say i write selenium grid but it's not compulsory okay now click on review and launch it's saying that okay improve your instance security because it's open to all because we have written 000 in fact you guys can also access that but i'll be terminating after this particular demo and it's saying your configuration instance is not eligible for the free user that's fine i'll pay for it that's okay it's very minimal amount that we have to pay for it and these are the details perfect and then simply click on launch launch your instance when you launch the instance it will say that okay hey create a new pair so i'm going to create a new pair let's see i'm giving uh, what uh, let's see i'm giving naveen a grid setup okay so this is a dot pem file will be created so yeah dot pem file please watch the first and second video once again guys second video especially and you will get to know how to do that and uh, simple click on launch instance perfect so it's saying your instances are now launching so view the instance 
okay so it's saying okay yeah it's in pending state so in few seconds it will be up and running and this is the public ip address and this is the uh, private uh, dns and the private ip address so we are not bothered about the private ip address and dns we will take uh, this one okay so let me just copy this guy and now what we have to do we have to access the instance first from the terminal so i'll open my terminal right and i'll uh, let's see let me come over here so in my downloads i'll go to that particular downloads directory where exactly the dot pem file that we have downloaded so the pem file name that we have uh, given so first we have to give the permission so ch mode in windows you don't need to okay this particular permission so ch mode and 400 executable permission i'll be giving so what is the name i have given Naveen uh grid setup okay dot pem file i'll be using it right and uh, that's it and after that i have to do ssh on which ip address so i'll be writing ssh minus i and the pem file is uh, this one naveen grid setup okay dot pem file and uh, ec2 user at the rate this is the ip address that i'll be using it because i want to remote login through ssh it's saying yes perfect it's saying amazon linux machine now you have access perfect now you can see i'm in this particular machine now 172 31 165 you can cross verify this is the private ip address perfect now quickly it say that okay hey you have to uh, sudo yum update so let me just do the sudo yum update minus y because we need to install JDK 1.8. It's better to have JDK 1.8. So uh, we will install JDK 1.8 now. Okay. So it quickly it will take a few seconds to update the yum. And once it is done, then we will be taking, uh, we will be removing JDK 1.7 because by default, it will give you JDK 1.7, not JDK 1.8. So we will be uh, removing 1.7 and then we will uh, reinstall 1.8. I mean, we will install 1.8. So let it update. It takes few seconds, guys. So we have to bear with that. And uh, let's see. Yep, it's still running. It's cleaning up some packages. And it's super fast. Like within within few seconds, you can create your infrastructure and everything. Okay. So today I'm not going to cover with Jenkins. Through Jenkins, you can create your own instance. Actually, you don't need to do all these things. You can. I mean, through Jenkins, it's amazingly good. You can create your own uh, uh, Jenkins, um, you know, through IAM that you can create Jenkins username and password. And Jenkins will create the instance and Jenkins will execute the test cases automatically. That level automation, we can do that. That I'll tell you later in the next video, maybe. Okay, that I'll tell you. But still, if you are getting this thing that I'm going to cover today, that is also more than enough for you guys. Okay, so still uh, YUM is getting updated. I think it's done now. Okay, you can see, yeah, it's done. Now, what we have to do, we have to write uh, sudo uh, yum, okay, remove what? First of all, you need to check what is the Java version that we are getting. Very simple, Ray say that, okay, that uh, Java version. It's saying open JDK 1.7 is available, but we need one, open JDK 1.8. Very simple, write sudo yum, okay remove java minus y so it will remove java and then we will install uh, sudo yum what what do you want to install i simply say that okay install uh, java hyphen 1.8.0 open jdk open jdk okay so 1.8.0 open jdk and then minus y so sudo yum install java hyphen okay this thing that you have to do that let me cross check yeah okay so it's installing java on this particular system okay i think it's almost done awesome now you will check the java version now the java version is 1.8 okay perfect now the system is ready so we are in aws system guys we have ssh into aws with this ssh so you should know how to do ssh you can do the same exact same thing you can do it from windows also in the previous video i've already explained so please go and check it over there now quickly we will check do we have docker so i'll be checking docker v 
yeah we have docker version perfect see docker is already available if docker is not there you need to install it so that's why i have uh, picked uh, this particular instance where docker is already available so docker composers we have docker compose i'll check how many docker containers are running i simply check that okay yeah nothing is running over here docker ps minus a nothing is there okay you can check do we have any images no we don't have any images perfect okay now if you know how exactly docker works so i'm assuming that okay you should know uh, how exactly docker works so in docker we have uh, you need to download the images and on top of images you have to create the containers so multiple images provided by selenium folks also like we have selenium hub image we have firefox we have grid sorry we have chrome image we have opera image you can create number of containers and you can start writing your test i mean executing your test cases on those images okay i mean on those containers so either you download the images individually and create the containers or you combine all the containers information in a single file that is called docker compose yml file and then you uh, kick your uh, uh, execution and then set up the infrastructure within two seconds so let's see how to do that so what you have to do right now you check ls command it's saying okay i have one docker repository i mean directory is already available i'll do one thing i'll have to create one file so simple right touch let's create one file that is called docker compose dot yml file this is just like a json file where we have to store the value in the form of key and value pair format so touch docker compose don't do any any spelling mistake d small c small hyphen is there dot yml right and then i'll open this in uh, docker in vi editor we will go to the insert mode so press i over here and then we will copy paste the docker composer and the docker composer is already available on the selenium hq you can check it on their github so we will be using the latest version so without docker container i mean docker composers if you really want to use that you can do it like this as well but that is very lengthy process you don't need to do individual command that you have to execute now it's latest version we will be using it so it's saying that okay we will copy this entire stuff from here this is a docker composer file right so you can see that we are using version and three services we are going to use first we need selenium hub download this particular image container name will be this and running on port number 4444 and this is a, a, a local machine to your container machine okay from there it means from linux machine to the container machine this is the port, uh, port forwarding and don't change anything over here same thing second image is this uh, it depends on selenium hub why because this node will be connected to this particular selenium grid hub that is what we know right i'm not going to explain what is selenium grid because selenium grid means one grid is there and it will be connected uh, multiple nodes are there let's see these two nodes it will be connected to this this simple okay like this so one single node will be connected to multiple okay multiple uh, one single hub will be connected to multiple nodes so every browser will behave like a node which will be connected to this particular hub over here right so this is the chrome this is the firefox and this is for opera perfect and these images are already available on docker hub so we don't we just need to copy and then come over here and then simple paste it over here when you paste it simple press it press escape and press control wq save it okay so this particular file got saved now now we have to execute this composer so how will you do that so simple write a docker compose a docker compose a dot uh okay just a second yeah so simple write docker compose and press up that's it okay so docker compose press it means up my infrastructure so automatically it will download the images in this particular uh, linux machine and it will create the containers for you guys so let's run it so as you see like that you can do that see okay i'll do one thing let me just uh, simple cancel it let me clear the console let's run it again you run it with detach mode it means i don't want to see the unnecessary you know output over there because otherwise it will block the console so simple right docker compose up minus d means do in the background and uh, release once everything is done uh, release the console so that i can execute my next command so let's write docker compose minus d first it will download see it is actually downloading all the images from say see what is the first image the first image is selenium hub and then it's going to download opera image 
and automatically it will connect to selenium hub okay so it will be like this guys so this is my linux machine in this particular linux machine we have docker and it will download three images one two three and four images actually this is the hub image one container will be created from this particular image from, from, from this particular base image then we will create one uh, chrome when we will create one firefox then we will create one opera and automatically it will be connected to these guys like that okay and then you will execute your test cases over here on the containers okay it will send the request to the hub and hub will decide okay hey which test case you want to write you want to execute on chrome or firefox or opera like that okay so this is the selenium grid concept actually like that so let me just erase this ugly drawing <laughs> okay so i think this is done now see this is done and i can simply execute that okay docker ps minus a how many containers are running you can see four containers are running this is for chrome this is for firefox this is for opera and this is for selenium hub perfect and hub is running on 44 44 now i want to see the hub uh, console right so i'll do one thing i'll go to this and then i'll just copy this public ip address and uh, simple go to this colon 44 44 awesome right so you can simply see that okay this is my selenium grid hub and click on console and how many browsers that you have created three one two and three right like this now if you really want to scale up you can do the scaling i say that okay hey i want uh, let's say i want five chrome and four firefox so how will you do that uh, docker compose simple write scale and simple write chrome is equal to five it means give me total five chrome not extra five chrome it means total chrome count should be five see and you come over here and refresh this so in some time let's see see can you see that i got five more chromes one two three four and five and only one firefox now i'll say that okay give me total firefox is equal to four it means give me four firefox total firefox so one is already there and three more will be created so one was already there and three more will be created and you simple save it i mean refresh it now you can see that okay one two three four firefox and five chrome and one opera this is a complete grid structure you can see that guys right on the grid console awesome that's and this is my what this is my ip address for my instance you can access through this public dns also this is the aws amazon aws.com so you simply go there colon 4444 this also will give you the console both are same thing this is available in the form of uh, url dns and this is available in the form of ip address both are pointing to the same linux machine okay now the real thing is done now it's part of coding so this is the configuration now we just create one project over here so that project i don't want to waste my time i mean spend my time on this i have already created this uh, where it is yeah one test i have already written you see freshworks test.com and i have created two uh, test cases over here right one is get the title and one is uh, give me the footer links which footer links you if you go to this particular website uh, freshworks.com so first you give me the title of the freshworks and uh, these are the footer links i want to print on the console and there are total 35 links are there in the console i mean the on in the footer i want to verify that so simple test i have written first you get the title and then uh, you simple print over here and then assert dot equals 35 and if you really want to write one more assert equals over here which is uh, i'll write let's see assert equals and uh, the actual value this driver dot get title like this and what are you expecting i'm expecting this particular title fresh work something like this so i'll right click on it and uh, go to view page source and this is the title okay so this is what i'm expecting so i have written one assertion for this guy right then 
what I've done, I have written one at the rate before method and I have created one testng.xml file over here. And my, <clears throat> see, as I told you, I'm going to create two test blocks, test block number one, test block number two, one is for Google Chrome and one is for Firefox. So this is my Firefox. I simply say that, okay, parameter I'll be passing parameter name equal to browser and value equal to Firefox, name equal to browser, value equal to Google Chrome. And the test is this, okay? This freshworks test.com, I mean dot Java, sorry. And it's available under this particular package, right? Now, and I'm going to execute in parallel mode. So that's why I've written parallel equal to test. It means these two test blocks, run them in parallel mode and thread count is equal to five, I have written. Okay, or three or four, whatever you want to write. Let's say I'll be writing three only. Okay, <clears throat> so this particular test, how many tests? I mean, this particular class, we have two test cases will be running on Chrome and same test cases will be running on Firefox. So that is the exact same thing I have done. Parameter is equal to, okay, I'll be using at the rate parameters. So it will pick the same parameter which we have defined over here under your testng.xml. I'm assuming that, okay, you know testng uh, concepts already. We have already covered these things so many times earlier. And uh, now if you want to run it on local machine, you simply write driver equal to new Chrome driver. So let me do one thing. Let me just uh, comment it out and just uncomment this guy. And uh, let me just comment this guy and uncomment this. Right. Now you run your testng.xml file, you should be able to see two test cases. I mean, two times browser will be running in parallel mode and we should be able to see our test cases. So you can see that, okay, both are running in parallel mode, right? See? Like that. So one is Firefox, one is Google Chrome. Same thing, we will do it on container on AWS. Okay, so you can see, yeah, it's absolutely working fine. And then you can see the console, it's printing the title and footer links and everything, it's running over there. And uh, same thing, you can execute from the command line also from the terminal. So like that. Okay, now I'll go to my uh, terminal in this particular directory that we have already here. See at the console. And I simply write maven clean install, make sure you are in the same project directory. And let's see from the console also, from the maven also it's running or not. And the same thing you can do it, uh, okay, in Jenkins configuration also, that I'll show you in the next video. So exactly same thing, you can do it over here, two browsers are running at the same time. Perfect, that's it. So I'm just, it's done, okay. So I'm not going to execute, let me terminate it now. Perfect guys, so your test cases are absolutely working fine. You can see that, okay, this is for Chrome test and this is for Firefox. Now, whenever we have to use any remote concept, it means my test cases should be executed on the remote machine. In that case, we know that, okay, we have to use the concept of desired capabilities. And I'm going to uncomment these guys. And we know that, okay, first you define the desired capabilities class object and then set capability browser name is equal to Chrome. And we have to use a driver equal to new remote web driver because remote web driver is okay is used to execute your test cases on the remote machine and you have to tell that okay hey where is your remote machine is available and where exactly your grid server is running so my grid server is running on this particular machine right that is the public ip address we will be copy we will uh, copy this guy and uh, this is the thing okay on 44 44 and you have to give a wd hub and this is the capability that you have to pass. And the same thing for if your browser equal to Firefox, uh, un uh, comment this line and uncomment this guy. And uh, run it on over here on this particular WD hub. Right, so either you write the URL with this, you have to write HTTP colon this, and you have to write, don't forget to write HTTP colon this. Okay, so your uh, hub is running on this particular IP address port number 4444 WD hub like that. So that's why we have to give the inbound uh, port over there guys. Okay, in the security group 4444 we have written just because of this so that we can trigger our test cache directly from here. Perfect, now it's time to run. So now what I'm gonna do, I'm going to execute. Okay, I'm going to execute, uh, one second, let me just close this. Yeah, I'm going to execute my test cases either from terminal or you can execute your testing.xml file and we will uh, see this uh, grid console which is running over here okay on this particular ip we have this configuration and we will see my test cases are running over here or not although we cannot see visually but uh, the moment we execute our test cases 
let's see running on this particular browser this will be blur okay so let's run it so let me clear the console maven clean install first it will compile your code and then it will trigger your test cases perfect so it's uh, reaching and you will see in my local machine see that's my local machine it will not launch any browser see it's not launching any browser and you can see the output is coming over here awesome right and you just refresh this particular page and you will see that okay see this firefox is being used and we should have uh, let's refresh it again and let's refresh once again keep refreshing it see the firefox is running it means the firefox is already taken right guys and uh, let me just refresh once again now firefox is released and you see the status over here the test cases are still running four test cases got okay executed zero error perfectly fine it means my test cases actually got executed over here and all the instances once again free now right so and the build is successful over here perfect now let me run it again let's run it again one more time maven clean install okay so see it is executing my test cases and it should be executed on okay now see we are getting the title of the page and you just simple refresh it and you see that okay yeah see chrome got occupied and one firefox got occupied over here right guys and you can see that can you see that uh, tooltip over here it's showing executing right guys it's showing executing and same thing over here it's showing executing over there but for this case it's free now it's okay no one is using it so one chrome is busy and one firefox is uh, busy like that okay now this chrome test cases are done and now firefox is still running you can see over here like that and once everything is done this instance will be free now so what i'm saying is no need to create so many instances if you have only two or three test cases right if you have only 10 20 case test cases no need to do that otherwise if you have really good configuration you simple you can do a parallel testing amazingly okay over here and then simple do it right tomorrow you have 500 10 and i mean 500 or 1000 test cases over there run everything in parallel mode you define your infrastructure accordingly and then you simple do it right so if you really want to scale down your firefox or chrome so I said, okay, no, I don't need so many Firefox. Simple, go to Firefox equal to two. So you don't need to shut down your entire infrastructure. Simple, say Firefox equal to two. So come over here and it will release, it will delete other Firefox containers automatically. It will take some time because we are sending the request and the RAM is very slow, guys. We have just picked only four GB RAM, okay? And uh, then I want Chrome also, I want only two Chrome. That is enough for me okay and then now you can check a docker ps minus a you can see that okay we have uh, okay we have one two firefox two google chrome and one opera although we are not using opera so you can delete also if you want okay and one selenium hub is running you just simple see this is still refreshing it takes some time okay so don't worry about that but it's actually deleted from here but on the ui it will be reflected in some time okay now uh, you can simple execute once again from here and then keep running your test cases like that so let's run it again may one clean install so perfect it will pick your test cases once again meanwhile you can check with the dns also so yeah it's taking some time because on the ui it takes some time to okay delete because it will internally it will delete the containers and it will send the request to to the server that okay hey please refresh the page so that it will take some time but in the back end uh, your browsers and everything it already got deleted over there now you can see my test cases are running like that once again i'm getting all the footer links i'm getting the title of the page like that okay guys so this is the thing now let me terminate i don't want unnecessary once again because it's just ram size i have already taken very less okay uh, while creating the aws instance now um one thing you can simple go do this and you can pick your public dns also if you really want to do that so copy this it's not like okay you can take only this ip address you can take uh, this also okay so both are same thing 
either you use a dns name or you can pick the uh, ip address both are same thing and you run it it will be executed once again over here so let's run it with a dns name also so let's see what happens so i hope you guys are getting it it's simple guys um it's just a matter of writing some code and then creating the infrastructure and then do it see i'm getting once again see your test cases are absolutely running fine we're on dns also i mean through dns also okay see the ui is still loading that's okay we can check it later that's fine okay so if you really want to see how many containers are running you can simply write docker ps minus a and you can always check okay yeah we have only two firefox this is the actual thing in the back end this is the actual thing and the same thing should be reflected after some time on the ui as well okay why it is not reflecting right now because it's like ram size is very very slow i mean very low that we have picked so it takes some time to be reflected but you can see this firefox is being used okay guys through my test cases like that and you can see the current status it's uh, yeah it's running on my firefox and then it will pick chrome also or it will be ex okay it will be executing in parallel mode also but anyways so let me terminate it's saying that okay yeah new session error okay because maybe it could not pick the session that's fine so we can simple terminate this okay so uh, this is the thing guys so don't worry my test case got uh, failed just because of the session could not be created it maybe it found some error that uh, new session error it means session could not be created that's fine it's saying remote error grid exception new session error forwarding a request no route to host host is unreachable might be possible that okay host is unreachable are we uh yeah this is the host perfectly fine anyways so right now it's totally busy so it's not reachable so better you can use again once again with the ip address so i'll be just i'll be pushing this code into my repository also you can pick it from there so back to ip address okay now the thing is next thing is guys uh, if you really want to shut down your infrastructure it means everything is done i want to shut down my infrastructure so what you do simple write docker compose and simple write down it means the entire grid hub infrastructure will be shut down you will see that okay done and everything is shut down you can check the containers docker ps minus a zero containers now everything is gone it means my uh, container infrastructure everything is down you can see the page is not working over here also it's not working it means it's gone it's shut down now okay but your instance is your machine is still running you can refresh this your machine will not be shut down okay remember this thing your machine machine is still running now your work is done after that what will you do my test cases are done everything is done then why to pay for it so simple right click on it and go to instance state and terminate it terminate this particular machine yes terminate and it will be shut down see it's saying shut down and immediately you will be locked out from here from your terminal from your command prompt also the saying is system is going going down for power off okay and automatically you will be back to your downloads folder earlier we were in this particular ec2 right on its ec2 instance now we are coming out of this automatically because your machine is shut down now over here so you can directly shut down directly from here it will trigger the shutdown you simple go to now is terminated and after a few hours uh, aws amazon will delete these two guys as well now you cannot uh, make it enable once again so you see that okay <clears throat> right now we don't have any amis you see the volumes you don't have any volume you don't have any snapshot also everything is deleted like that okay and these two are terminated let me just check can we delete that no it will be deleted after some time automatically okay so we cannot manually delete them okay so okay <coughs> now um you go to aws and go to billing side let me check how much money i have spent from last three four days Oh, zero they haven't oh nice uh, see 0 0.22 dollar i mean hardly two cents like it's nothing guys hardly i mean 20 cents i guess right 
it's very less so uh, that's okay guys that you can spend for this thing okay so today i spent zero dollars so th that's why i'm telling you that billing amount is very less in fact microsoft azure is uh, you know <clears throat> five times lesser five times less exp uh, expensive as compared to aws so it uh, microsoft azure we will talk about later but yeah so it will be deducted automatically from your account but for practice point of view you guys can do it it's very minimal account okay minimal amount you are paying for it and current date i mean 76 inr for one dollar is going on right so that's all for this particular video guys i hope you liked it please practice and uh, if you're not able to configure please try to do that and it will be good practice always if you configure by your own and then uh, you will get the confidence you're actually running your test cases okay on aws machine through containers in the next video i'll try to cover with aws from aws we will create the instance automatically and uh, we will execute our test cases from jenkins and uh, jenkins will create the instance on aws and running your test cases and it will delete the instance also after that okay so those things i'll try to show you guys so thank you so much guys thanks for watching this video this is Naveen here welcome i mean um, let me know if you have any issues and please subscribe to the channel if you okay if you really liking this thing and please don't jump into this particular video directly please watch at least last two or three videos you will understand better okay take care guys thank you so much i'll see you in the next video then bye bye